You'll often hear vegans talk about why killing animals isn't right, it's not the right thing to do. And my answer is, when did we become so soft? So just very quickly, a massive sorry because this is the worst video I've ever had to reply to and I can't believe the amount of things that are wrong in a video that was originally just 1 minute and 40 seconds. But straight off the bat, that's how you judge your morality on how hard or tough something makes you look. Like seriously, have you never thought about the fact that it's because we don't have the right to abuse theirs? I mean watch. You'll often hear people say that racism isn't right and being racist isn't the right thing to do. And my answer is, when did we become so soft? See how easy that is. Probably not the best way of forming a base of morality, is it? We don't kill animals for fun. We don't kill animals because we enjoy to kill animals. We kill animals for health. For nutrition. We want to eat grass fed, grass finished beef. To optimise our health. So when did we become so soft? The way that us humans kill animals is a much better death than any other way that that animal would die. When we kill cattle, we put a bolt straight through its head. It's dead within half a second. It doesn't even know what happened to it. When that animal is out in the wild, it's brutal. The way the animal dies is totally brutal. Those animals often get eaten alive. It's totally brutal the way that they die. Another argument is... ...is that we don't need to kill animals. Now, if you want to optimise your health... ...then yes, it is optimal to eat animal products. It's optimal to eat grass-fed, grass-finished beef, for instance. But that is what animals do, and we are animals. My cat, for instance, she'll go and kill something just for the fun of it. And all animals do that. Sometimes they kill things, not to even eat them, just because it's there, they're like, okay, I'm gonna kill that. We don't kill animals for fun. That is what animals do, and we are animals. She'll go and kill something just for the fun of it. And all animals do that. A lot of times animals just kill things just to kill them. At least we actually use, for instance, all of the ingredients of a cow. We actually utilise the whole carcass. The truth is, it's not all sunshine and rainbows in this world, and anybody who thinks it is, is totally disconnected. If you guys want more help on building muscle, on losing body fat, on nutrition... So I've intentionally muted this last part and covered his social links the best I can because I genuinely don't want anyone to follow this guy, not until he does some actual genuine research into his really dangerous claims. And this goes far beyond veganism at this point. I don't know if the plan was to just take some well used and defunct arguments, add some anti-vegan buzzwords and hashtags and sell it to the non-vegans the best you could whilst you were stood in front of a green screen, but if so, that makes far more sense to me. But I think this is a perfect example of cognitive dissonance and the comments section on the original video and others just like it just show the desperation of non-vegans to try and cling on to something, anything, a reason to continue destroying and consuming other beings. If we are brainwashed, then you know what, fine, I'll take it. Because anything is better than having a worldview and a moral compass as warped and immoral as that.